Welcome everyone, my name is Luis and here I'm going to show you my resolution for the functionality of the RDT project from Introduction to Artificial Intelligence with Python. So based on this kind of um, RDT gene uh, algorithm, we want to write an AI to assess the likelihood that a person will have a particular genetic trait. So according to the genes of the parents, we can calculate uh, if the, the probability of the child to get in a specific gen and also the, if the, the child might have the, the specific trait, yes or not. So let's go to the specifications. We have to um, code the joint probability, then an update function and a normalized function. So the first one, we, we do this for each person in people. We calculate uh, the probability depending on if there is no parents registered then we use the profs uh, dictionary and if there and that depending on the the gen the number of gens expected for that person so if that person has one gen we use the profs gen one and if it's two gens we use profs gen two and so for the for non gens we use the zero uh, also, we have to calculate if the the person has the parents registered. So we calculate the mutation probability, and and then we check for the parents uh, genes. We do it for both mother and father, and depending on the number of genes for the the parents, we have a different formula. So if it is one gen, what what it will be is the 50% multiplied by the probability of mutation and the probability of not mutation. Then for two genes, what we expect is to have the probability of not mutation, so it's one minus the probability of mutation. And for no genes, what we will expect is the, the mutation probability. Therefore, we check the person genes. So we, according to the, the expected number of genes for that person, we calculate the probability so for multiplying the mother and father uh, probability calculated before then we calculate the trait so if the person is in half trait we calculate the the probability by multiplying the the actual probability calculated according to the parents or the dictionary and multiply it by the trait according to true or false depending on if the person have a trait or not and finally we calculate the joint probability by multiplying the probability of each uh, people in the um, in the family for each per person in the in the family then we have the update function so for each person in probabilities, we add the new calculated joint probability. This also depends on the number of genes. So in this case, we have the person, the gene, and depending on the number of genes, we add the new joint probability, which is represented by the p variable. And we do the same for the trait probabilities. So depending if the person have the trait or not, we add the, the p joint probability. And finally, we normalize the data. So for each person in probabilities, we normalize the probability distribution for both genes and trait. In this case, we calculate the, formal, the normalization factor, uh, which depends on the, the sum of the values for the, for the specific calculation. So then we normalize the probability by multiplying the, each value in probabilities person, for example, in trait or genes, and we multiply it by the factor. So that's that's all. This would be the, the results after the implementation. We can compare that for the family, for the first family. The results are exactly the same. We have the results and the expectations from the assignment. Um, and that's all. Thank you very much.